Discipleship is the heart of the Great Commission. Discipleship is an order. The call is to invest your life in others. The Apostle Paul expressed it this way. We proclaim him, admonish him, every man, teaching every man with all wisdom so that we may present every man complete in Christ. This is what discipleship is, to present every person complete in Christ. And he says, for this purpose I also I labor, striving according to his power, which mightily works with me. Discipleship is a... Is the power of the Holy Spirit working with you, discipling others. I had the privilege of being one of the first members of the Church of the Nazarene in Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. Our discipleship journey started in a Bible study at the home of missionaries Dean and Wayne Galloway. With eight or nine young people, we met every Thursday to study the Gospel of Matthew. I was only 17 years old. During the Bible study, the Galloways invited the group to canvas the neighborhood to start the Church of the Nazarene in Colombia. This was the way to help us implement what we had learned and to participate in a church plan. He was with us all the time. He didn't only teach us the Bible principles, but he taught us to practice service ministry in the most basic level. One night in the Bible study, we were studying the life of the young rich ruler. The presence of God came over me, and I sensed a profound call to follow Christ and to leave all my treasures. I made the hard commitment. That was about two years afterward. And March 21st, I became, as a 19-year-old, the associate pastor of the First Church of the Nazarene in Colombia. Few months later, with the guidance of the Galloways, he helped us to plant another church. We didn't have any pastoral training. We didn't have any seminary studies. But every night he studied the Bible with us for 11 months. Every afternoon he taught us theology and the manual of the Church of the Nazarene. What a privilege to be disciple one on one. He told us what is to be a discipler and to be a disciple of Christ. Few months later, he died. I believe he came to spend his life for us. As new Christians, we have a profound deafness to Reverend and Mrs. Galloway, he imprinted the life of discipleship on us. May God bless you.